how are you doing cancer uh this is your daily reading uh for july 2nd i hope this reading finds you well like you wanted to fall behind excuse me with the s of cups you might have put love on the after burner or you might have put an uh, emotional connection uh in terms of uh you're not trying to um how would i put it love might be needed to be put to be put behind you know of everything love might be just needing to sit in the back you know i feel like you realize that you know that love is here you feel the love in the connection you feel the connectivity in the situation however there is a really big need for you to really um let it go just let, let let it let it sit in the back you know i'm not saying sorry i'm not saying like ignore it or just push it on the back side but just don't let it be a fast thought because right now i just see a really good i haven't even read these cards but i really need, see a good need for you to stay by yourself take some time for yourself understand yourself and uh, grow yourself because for your reading, I get the hermit card. Somebody who's going within, yeah, you you know what I mean? Like, you need to take some time for yourself. The hermit card just says it all. You really need to take some time to understand what you are in, situations you are in, uh, how you want to move forward or how you want to react to um, things around you or just want to go by things. Or just seek more knowledge of who you are in the situations you are in. That's the best way I can put it, you know. Because the moon card is coming in your life to reveal something. And uh, something that's really being revealed to you, um, it could be a connection you're in, uh, a situation you feel bound to, excuse me, or a situation you might be feeling like you got left in darkness uh, for, or just for too long. And with the moon card, I really see um, light, you know, light is coming, you know, the sun card to the moon card. Um, you understand what I'm saying? Like the sun is shining, it's always shining. However, you've been left in darkness, you know. It's like happiness is there for you. Yeah, it's like happiness is there for you. However, your situation you're in, you've been left on the dark side of the world. You know, you've been left on the dark side of things. However, as the moon comes in closing, the moon come in, comes in closer. Uh, the light is being reflected and, you know, you're seeing the situation clearly. And that's what's happening with the moon card. You know, you're becoming more aware of the situation, understanding where you stand in this situation. Uh, with the high priestess, uh, get a good sense of uh, as the situation unfolds in front of you, you might be needing to take some time for yourself, you know. You might be acquiring more knowledge, more um, with the high priestess, acquiring more, with the hammer card still, more insight about you, your values, where you stand, where you want to head in life. Uh, you could be really sitting down and be knowledge hungry. You're trying to study something. You're really trying to absorb all the knowledge you can. Or you just try not to focus on um, other things around you, you know you you might be not trying to really give in another situation however you're being encouraged to really stick by yourself stick in your surroundings you know take some time off if you need to step outside go for you know walks you know by yourself if you need to walk out just walk out if you need to go do yoga just do yoga there's a really big need for you to enjoy the time you have and put work on the afterburn put work and love on pause don't ignore love because love still came out the ace of cups still came out upright but with it really being behind all that it's um don't let love be your first thought today don't let love be uh on your main mind main topic or just connections in general because you need to take some time to yourself uh with the nine of wands to the ten of wands oof yeah you need to realize something is complete something is coming to a closing uh you <laughs> with the nine of wands is somebody okay imagine you're growing a plant and that plant is really grown and grown and it's coming to harvest time that's what's happening with the nine of wands you might be having some anxiety to um yourself or just a situation you're in wondering will it ever pay off will, will it be ripe 
will it be um is it really is it ready is it that anxiety of like yeah that anxiety of is it ready or am i ready to move towards this am i ready to um grow am i ready am i ready to connect because the ace of cups is still here it might be a connection you have in your life and you kind of uh, are not sure if you really should go forward with it you're not sure if you should really connect with it and that's why you're being encouraged to that's why you're being encouraged to take time for yourself. With the nine of wands, it's like, I have this love, I have this connection, I have this person in my mind, I have this uh, passion for something. But I don't know if I should really take a step forward. I don't know if I should really connect. I don't know if I, sh I should really give in to this, you know. There's a need for you to, you know, step back before you even react or even whatever comes to your mind. Take a step back. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your values. There's a good idea of analyze yourself, you know. The, 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 step out of your body and just look at yourself and just be like damn a little good or just enjoy what the fuck you have on achieve uh, achievements enjoy your achievement look at your achievements sorry look at your achievement look at your walks look at what you have really brought to life look at what you really want to go through look at everything you have around you enjoy that six six enjoy the completions because shit you have been working on shit you have been putting in effort the work is paying off it's really paying off with the nine of wands to the ten of wands it's like release releasing letting go of the buttons you know it's like all the worries yeah remember when i told you like am i ready i feel like with the ten of wands is telling you you are ready however it's not it's not like Oh, I'm just ready to just rush in love. No, no, no. Take some time for yourself. If you have to watch TV, lay back, do that. If you have to really um be playful or just just really isolate yourself, just do that. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy what you have walked on. Enjoy what you have brought to life. Because with the seven of seven of pentacles or seven of coins, there's a really big, really, really big desire for you to put your work on pause. Yes, I understand work is necessary most of the times, but whenever we don't feel connected to ourselves, whenever we don't feel grounded, whenever we keep feeding to situations around us and we never take time to feed ourselves, whenever we just really supply our energy all around us and we don't really give back to ourselves, regardless of whether it's work or just uh, wands or just anything, projects, we end up feeling down on ourselves. We end up just exhausting ourselves, you know. There's something called overwhelming. His some shit is being overwhelming, yeah. You need to understand that, and that might be taking place because your work is paying off. All your work, your projects is like it's coming to life. However, this oh, this overwhelming energy I'm telling you about is if you keep working, you're gonna hit the burnout. You know, you're not gonna be able to see yourself moving forward. You really, you're not gonna take time to reconnect with yourself. You're not gonna take time to really. You're not gonna be yourself. That's the best way I can say it. But with the moon here, you gotta realize we're not machines. We're humans. We don't we don't work for you. I'm working for me. I'm working for me to get money. It's just that you are giving me a job. You know, just that sense. You know, like you don't own me. I do this shit because I want to do it. Just because for the paycheck or anything. There is a need for you to be like I. I matter. There is a big need of. Uh, I do this shit, I work harder than anybody, and I've been putting in a lot of time and effort, however, look what I've done, I need to take some time for myself, you know, I need I need to care about me, I need to really, really, what's happening out there, you know, uh, you get the six of, yeah, you get the six of swords, eight of uh, coins, and the hammer cut, yeah, there's a big energy of, um, if you've been working in situations around, let's say you have, um, yeah let's say you have a nine to five there's a big need for you to um i don't want to say quit no just put it on a pause you know like if you have done your work and your work is done just yeah do, yeah fuck it i have finished my work now you have to go back there's something you have to work on you yourself you have to work on this is your destiny calling with the seven it's like you, you yeah the seven the seven of pentacles it's like a nine to five it's like i'm working for you you know but there's that sense of disconnecting from that work there's something you you yourself destiny is calling you to work on there's something destiny is really calling you to 
and it's something you enjoy to do it's something you understand it's something you do better than anybody else it's something you're really being called here on earth to do it's something that you are meant to do it's just that this seven of coins it's you know an extra job an extra duty an extra responsibility on your hands and yeah we should embrace that we should really uh, take that in account. However, when we give the extra more time we give to ourselves, how is that gonna work out? You know, there's a need for you to. I'm not saying, but trust me, do not quit your job or anything. Just take some time, take a break. You know, just take a a, a nice whiff of fresh air. Just be like. I have done my job, you know, I have been really putting in work. And cancers, I know your motherfuckers really work. You really, really work. You really grind. However, the, with the moon, I really get the sense of maybe you have been working too much. Maybe you have been over overusing your boosters, overusing your engines, you know, exhausting your engine, just in, exhausting your supplies. There's a huge need for you to reconnect. Reconnect, be grounded. Just take some time to relax. Remember when I told you if you want to take a walk, walk? Take a walk. Take a walk and look at what you have accomplished. You know, in terms of what you have really brought to yourself, brought to your life. You know, what you are really working on in your life. And there's another side of you that's... Remember, your normal responsibilities on the earth, this earth. The eight of coins. The eight of pentacles. It's something that's... I feel like you're talented in. You know, it feels like you reading a book or you just... Um, analyzing you just it's so easy for you it's, it's just it's just it's there you know you enjoy you enjoy acquiring this type of knowledge or this type of skill because it just takes your mind off this work you've been doing this uh thing that's been exhausting you this um thing you have to i want to say this this situation you've been feeling in you know the, this situation you've been feeling feeding in you know and with the six of swords and the eight of coins or the eight of pentacles and the hermit card there's a need for you to relax yeah uh, yeah i don't know how the best way to put it there there's a, a, a need for you to relax be attached and um you that remember when i told you might have been a, overusing ever over exhausting your boosters your energy supplies yeah the six of swords is telling me yeah shift that shift that instead of giving into that shit that's really sucking the fucking hell out of you do that then i don't know <laughs> with this 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 unfolding this coming to me like uh your whole day or just your daily reading there's a need for you to kind of disconnect from that give time to yourself give yourself you know give if you need to take a break take a break i'm telling you if you need to take a day off take a day off however there is a need for you to be grounded relax and sense of I know I need to do work, however, I'm doing what's meant for me, I'm doing something I enjoy, I'm doing something in my spare time, you know, we're not machines, man, we're not machines, trust me, trust me, I understand work and I love work and I'm the hardest working motherfucker, but when you are working and overusing your energy and shit that's just anybody can do, anybody can really bring to life, you're living what's meant for you, you're living your duties in life outside, you're living your duties just there. There's something that's meant for you and you can only do that. There's something that's here for you. There's a skill. I, just, I, I really get a good sense of a skill that you can only do. This work, remember when I said a 9 and 5? Anybody can take up your spot. Anybody can take up your spot. You get that sense? Bro, anybody can fire you and they can take up your spot the next day. However, there's one thing you're being called to do. There's one thing you can only do in this world. There's something that you feel like even if I work overtime doing this shit, even if I really work myself to death, it's something I enjoy loving to do. And with the Hermit card, you need to see something. You need to see something. Maybe this work you've been working on is, been, is paying off. In terms of the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. It could be a project, an idea you've been working on in your spare time. You know, just something you, like I said, you're being called to do and it's coming to life. It's coming to fruition. You need to take some time to yourself and actually look what's happened. What, what, like I said, what have I been working on? Your achievements, your achievements. Not this shit anybody can do. Your achievements, your values, your <laughs> your fruits of your labor. In terms of, I did this for myself. I got this for myself. And I love it. 
I'm not saying quit your job. Jobs are important. It's just that right now you might be needing to give time to yourself. A strong, really desired time to give to yourself. Connect to yourself. Balance yourself out. Seek insight. If you have to meditate, meditate with the high priestess. You know, there is the divine. You know, the high side of you is kind of, I want to say the high side of you is kind of at the, I don't want to say at the ascending, but I feel like you are ascending in, term, in terms of your spiritualism, in terms of uh, your divine connection. You know, you might be needing to really um, humble yourself, ground yourself, really settle down, just really embrace the nine of wands in terms of, oh, I finally have some rest, you know, and um, I've been working on this project, this idea, and it's finally coming to life, and uh, poof, it's like, it's, it's done, you know, I have done this, and uh, whew, I really needed this break, that sense, that sense.